Hey guys, Nick here with American Motorcycle Trading Company in Arlington, Texas. Got another bargain bike special with me today. It's a 2001 Honda Shadow Aero VT1100. Now the Aero trim on the Shadow line of bikes, kind of an old school classic looking wire wheel, long swept front fender. It's got the swept rear fender. It's got these pullback bars. It's a real comfortable seating position. Nice wide seat. I don't want to call them beach bars, but they pull back nice. They're nice and wide. They're not hunched over. It's just a real relaxed seating position. So we keep our bargain bikes in a separate area from our frontline bikes and we make good deals on them so we can pass the savings on you. We sell them as is. Test ride them, get them cleaned up, make sure they pass a Texas State inspection and we put them out for sale. This one's got the 1100cc liquid cooled carbureted V-twin motor with the five speed transmission. The Hondas, man, they're real, they're real reliable, um, kind of maintenance free, just real basic stuff. Keep the oil changed, you know, keep good spark plugs, good filter, good gas, and they run for a long, long time. This one's got some upgraded Vance and Hines full length pipes. Gives this Honda a pretty aggressive sound. Nice chrome here on the engine. Wide floorboards and pedals. Got your engine guard up here with a set of highway pegs. So it's got a pretty nice stretched out position while you're ro rolling down the road. Big radiator up front. Thing runs pretty cool even on hot days. This one's got the Alpine white and kind of a gunmetal two-tone paint job. Looks pretty good. It's got some nice flake under the clear coat. This one's got a few cosmetic issues. It's missing this side panel on the right side. It's supposed to be a plastic panel that just kind of covers this whole area. Um, if you go into eBay or something like that, you might be able to find one pretty cheap. Can't imagine them being too expensive. It's got adjustable shocks back here, the rear shocks. I think it's got a setting one through five. Five is gonna be a stiffer setting if you're gonna ride two up or if you got some luggage, or you can lower it down and kind of give it a little more cushy ride. Big wide driver's seat, man. This thing will allow your whole rear end to sit on it. It's got a small rip right here. It's got some leather saddlebags. They're hard bags, but they're, well, I guess maybe they're just kind of, I don't know if that's leather or not. They feel hard, kind of like plastic. Leather-like. Seems to be the company that makes these. It's got some studs in it. That might be leather wrap, but it's a hard bag and it's lockable, so that's pretty nice to have. You can uh, make sure nobody steals your luggage or anything. It's got this custom pinstripe back here on the rear fender. Kind of looks cool, man. I wish I had talent like that. It's got a few little marks here on the rear fender. You got a scratch right there. Let's see what the rear tire looks like. Looks like you got a fairly new Metzler tire on the rear. So that's pretty nice to have. It's a shaft driven bike, very low maintenance, reliable units. Um, I think they only hold about three or four ounces of final dry fluid. Change it like once every 10,000 miles, so real simple. It's got a heel toe shifter. This is the plastic piece that's supposed to be on the other side. That's what it looks like. Got all your indicator lights right here. Also, the gauge is built into the headlight. That's something new. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Just built right into the headlight housing. It's got some surface rust up here on the throttle cables. A little bit of, a little marring right there on that reservoir cap. It's got a universal cruise control and how that works is you just get the throttle where you want it and you push down on that tab, it locks it into place. That's good for the long highway trips can't always stretch your throttle hand you know when you're rolling down the road so that's really nice to have it is a carbureted bike it's got dual carburetors so you got your choke up here on the handlebars the arrows also got the spot lamps up here some more of that pinstripe right there on the front fender there's a rock chip right there got a fairly new tire on the front as well it's got a single brake setup here on the front wheel. Chrome wire wheel with the chrome smoothie cap. 
Yeah, this wheel's got some surface rust on it too, right there on the lip of the wheel and on the spokes. It's a great running bike, man. Motor's real quiet, just typical Honda reliability. Got a little rub mark right there on the gas tank. Like I said, it's got some spots around on the bike. Runs good though. Really not a bad looking bike. Be a good starter bike or just something to ride around on. It's got a pretty aggressive sound, those Vance and Hines. It's got a pretty unique setup. This one actually uses a dual pin crankshaft. So it's got a different sound than what you think a like a Harley V-Twin would have. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty aggressive. If you'd like to know more about it, you can contact our sales team toll free at 888-411151. Or you can check out our website at cleanharleys.com and see our full inventory. We offer excellent finance and extended warranty options. Take almost anything in on trade and we sell and ship bikes all around the world. So it'd be real easy to get this one to you. This is Nick with American Motorcycle Trading Company in Arlington, Texas. The freedom to choose.